Do you see that? He still acts like he rules the house. But he's let his guard down. So, did he get what he wanted? Or did you? At the time, I... I wanted you to crush him. I'm just glad you're still alive. He thinks he's one. But he and his men have gone soft now. They won't be ready when we do strike back. And when you're better, things will be different. I asked Ethan not to change who he was. He promised he wouldn't, and look what happened. I now know that was childish of me. I'm ready to change now. I'm willing to do anything to help our family. I mean it, Roderick. I don't care what. I'll do it. I am too. Father used to say we foresters are as tough as the ironwood. We are. All of us. And I'm sure the others will do whatever it takes as well. What you did, yielding to Griff, you had your reasons. But... No one can know the future. Whatever tomorrow brings, Talia, the foresters will stand tall. We did it. I can't believe it. What are you waiting for? I can't. What? After everything, we just... I can't burn it. The Khaleesi will see you now. So, Asher Forrester, if you presume to speak of my dragons, choose your words carefully. What have you done, Garrett? Frostfinger is calling for your head. Tell me Brit's death was an accident. Mira, what are you doing? I can't pretend I haven't seen this. Mira, just tell me what's going on. We are weak. We have no allies. And Griff claims to be the new Lord of Ironrath. There's been a raven from Lord Whitehill. He's invited us to High Point. Drogon wouldn't have attacked without reason. By order of the Queen! I... Fuck you and your Queen! Deal with your friend! Nothing ever stays in the past, Asha. Carried. <laughs> it's time to go.
Previously on Game of Thrones. My father is planning to make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans, because you have a traitor in your council. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? I hope I didn't make a mistake in trusting you. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Ah! Ah! Are you gonna be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? You can be Lord Roderick, so long as we all know who holds the reins here. The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. <sighs> I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and... and we fought and... So you struck him down and left him to die. You told me what you did to get here. We both know you had blood on your hands. But now, you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. I swear by all the gods, old and new, this was an accident. I didn't mean for him to die. <laughs> didn't mean it. Murder's in your blood. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger! I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Go on, then. Out with it. What happened? Brit didn't do anything wrong. Garrett murdered him in cold blood. And he just left him there. Like an animal. Garrett's no brother. He's worse than the wildlings. He'd kill any one of us who looked at him funny. 
Brit slaughtered he my family! He was a man of the watch and you murdered him! Save your breath, Tuttle. You haven't got much of it left. Let's go. Say goodbye to your brothers. Frostfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusted. Not with this one, you're not. Got a witness says he murdered Brit. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Garrod, I... I can't believe you did this. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrod. You told me there wouldn't be any trouble with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrod. I thought you were going to be by my side at Craster's. This isn't right. Brit's the murderer. Frostfinger has this all wrong. What Brit did to your family... Anyone would want him dead. But John... Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But... You're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Craster's. How is this any different? Gods be with you, Garrett. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. Now let's move. You can go begging to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. Do you know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. Then maybe you should get to know me better. I'm not like those other men. You sure look like the rest of them. Covered in dirt. Oh, shit. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. Viseron. It's all right. He's, uh, he's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, sir. Oh, fuck. 
You're brave, at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. I have this. Drogon. How did you get that? What have you done to him? If you've hurt him... Hurt him? He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Why did you come here? You offer me nothing but lies. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? What do you want from me, Asher Forrester? I don't want your money. I just need your help. Help very often means money. My family is depending on me. I have to find an army. An army? If you could spare some of your swords, Please, if... I also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. What if we left after the liberation, once the slaves are free? Once the slaves are free, I will sail back to Westeros and reclaim my crown. There is no after. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me, Croft. You may leave. <laughs> That's uh, it. Your Grace. See them out. We're not just sellswords. We're the best damn sellswords in Slaver's Bay. <laughs> I know a few who might disagree with you. His boasting aside, they were two of my best fighters. And Beska here, she has a history in Marine. She could help guide us. What the hell? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. So you wish to accompany them? 